This is one of the biggest narcissist shit I've seen in a fucking game. They added a fully newspaper DLC, which can be used only by five persons, 4,000 persons playing the game, and only these snoob narcissists can have access to these stuff. I understand press kit can't be on the MOB, but having it hidden into a secret bunker is enough to keep it safe, and at the same time let the opportunity to all players to roleplay like that. They have set a password, and no one can now access the building. I'm starting to understand why Hackers and Cheaters appears on these games too. The problem of Milsim games is that they can give you the best shooter experience, but also the worst. They're full of snoobs and millennial narcissists, zoomers, arrogant people who believe they are better than you for knowing computer skills, being modders, or being the owners of the server. On top of that, they are envious when you do something better than them. or have a channel like ours, for example, that has more followers than all of them together, that blows their heads away. That's a big true and Arma Reforger developers know it. That's why it's almost impossible for them to fully ban you from a server, because in a game where custom servers are everything, they can't permit four assholes banning people constantly to play a game they pay just because they're two narcissists. In conclusion, this is like many other cool things. Nothing in life should be idealized, and especially Milsim games. Look, for example, Hell Let Loose with Assholes, saying he want to remove flamethrowers from game. It's like these games, sadly, their admins or outstanding people are really deep down repressed COD players. They are not passionate. They don't really like history or the artistic part of these games. And better not to talk about what happened with the issue of the Gulf War server. It was closed forever by similar reasons. They took it and transformed it into a modern Warzone-type arcade. It should be a crime to do that with Reforger. It's difficult and very sadness to take a patriarchal game and ensure without being woke or a microtransactions game ending up being shit. It's difficult, but they got it.